Hi, welcome to part two of my snapshot uh, little thingy tutorial slash review overview. I'm not sure what you'd call it. It's just something I'm throwing together. Uh, and you remember from the last episode, we created our profile for snapshots, which in my case I named snapshots too. And whatever you named it, hey, that's great. Or whatever you're gonna name it if you haven't already done it um so anyway we'll click play we'll load up uh, world here and we'll select single player and I have a world created here but for the sake of this we'll get rid of this and we'll create a new one because this is where the thing is I want to show you so we'll just name us new I'll name my, uh, my new world snapshots and we'll allow chests or cheats rather and a bonus chest just because I always like those I don't know why just something I do and then we'll go up here to world type and we'll keep going until we get to customized and then we click customize and here we have the greatest options in the world for making a world <laughs> you get it yeah it was pretty obvious wasn't it okay so uh, and we can change sea level from 1 to 255 which is very cool uh, we can have caves, yes or no, villages, yes or no, strongholds, yes or no, mine shafts, yes or no, temples, yes or no, ravines, yes or no, ocean monuments, uh, dungeons, water lakes, lava lakes, lava oceans, yeah, you want to take a swim in the lava, um, yeah, uh, you can have, uh, Determine how many dungeons you want from one to a hundred. That's kind of cool. Uh, the rarity of water lakes from one to a hundred. Lava lake rarity is one from a hundred as well. Uh, you can choose your biome. You can have a world load in all ocean, desert, plains, extreme taga. Uh, stream hills or taga or desert ice plain mushroom island I'm not you know I'm just blazing through that uh, nice to have all bounds you never know what you're going to want or need uh, you can choose your biome size and your river size from 1 to 5 and biome, so, biome size from 1 to 8 okay and then we go to the next page and there's four pages of settings here. I only I'm only going to deal with the first two, and you'll see why. Because I'll show you the second, uh, third, and fourth page also. But I won't be touching any settings in there. <coughs> and so here we have we can select our dirt options: spawn size 33, spawn tries 10, uh, gravel spawn size 33, spawn tries 8. And then you can select the height, which is zero will be all the way to to uh, the last level of bedrock before you fall out of the world. And then max height is 256, which is the maximum that a uh, box can go high. Okay, and doo -doo -doo. and we can. I think they have pretty much every thing that spawns uh, as a block. Except for trees, of course, uh, but for mining purposes, gravel, granite. I've no idea how to pronounce that. Diorite, that's what I'm gonna call it, andesite, uh, coal ore, and th these are the things I change. I change my coal ore. We'll go 40, 17 size. That's pretty good. Uh, actually, let's just take it down to 10. We'll 40 on there, 10 on our size, and we want our height, 64 is good, 
gold. Go ahead and bump that up to 64. Or whatever is close. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll go ahead and bump that up to 40. Redstone, bump that up to 40. Have a 10 size. Uh, height. <coughs> get somewhere between 62 and 64. Uh, diamond, we'll go ahead and bump that up to 10. And we'll bump that up to 40. I don't recommend doing this uh, for just a for a game you're gonna play. Well, unless you're like me and you hate looking for resources and just like building things. But uh, yeah, well, I'm not cheating going to creative because you run out of materials. <sighs> but I digress. And lapis will make it five. Um, ah, okay. And then the next page is, as you can see up here, it says advanced settings, expert users only. I'm not an expert, that's why I do not touch this stuff. I may play around with it one day, but just reading it, it doesn't seem like anything that would interest me to change. Uh, and the same with the page four. It's just things that don't really make any sense. So. I stick with page one and two. Really, the only thing I changed is page two. Colors. I have changed, uh, like just lava lake rarity. So I wouldn't run into as many lava lakes. Just can just turn them off. But, anyway. And we're done with that. And we'll create a world. And here we are. I'm gonna change some settings real quick. Uh, music is off. Oops. Vsync off. Graphics fast. Chunks are turned down. Okay. Make sure I wouldn't gonna lag out real bad. Recording is terrible. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just go down as far as we can, which is probably gonna be right. And we're just gonna start digging. I'm gonna go into creative mode, just so I it don't take as long. And we'll see how long it takes before we get some ores. Ah, and we paid a uh, uh, gold ore. Okay. Oh, and this is kind of cool too. Uh, if you see in the top right corner now, it shows you the block. What kind of block it is? Stone, gold ore, stone. Uh, if we get up here. I uh, show you, you're looking at a torch. Torch is facing up. Facing west. Facing east. And if we move that one, facing south. Yeah. Kind of cool. Uh, there's been a many times I've been mining and didn't know what I was looking at. And you can see uh, we have Minecraft grass, which is a dirt with a dirt block with grass on top of it. And then here we have a dirt block with no grass and it says it's a dirt. No snow. And here we have leaves. Okay, but enough of that. On to our ore deposits. Just count, see how many we have. This little pocket.
Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We had fourteen spawn here in this one area. And we have some iron. So at block, uh, where were we at? We come in here. Would have been oops right here. So we would have been on block uh forty six when we seen it, or technically forty seven. No. Forty seven, yeah. When we seen this block. And that's not too bad. And we we would have gotten uh Ten was it? I forgot. Ten uh, gold ores. And then when we, of course, we probably wouldn't have found this one, but since I don't know how you dig, me personally, I don't dig out more than I have to when I'm getting blocks or ores. Oh, and then this is uh, the end of sight. Just eh, kind of a useless material so far. And we have our coal. And it looks like it's going to be all of the iron. We have one, two, three, four, five iron, six, and five. Now that's not too bad. Took you about five or ten minutes to get down here, if that. With the chest, without the chest, it might take you a little longer. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> pretty neat. Just destroyed the sugar cane. I mean, it, it looks almost the same. Well, but it does look the same. Uh, yeah. I just thought that was that th that was a nice touch to uh, add those options in there because if you've ever played the mod pack uh, Big Dig, there's ores everywhere. There's actually too many ores in there; they could turn them down a bit. Because I spent forever just mining and mining and mining and mining, so much so that I got sick of it. So I haven't played that in a while. I only played it for like. Five days. So. And the first uh, snapshot game, a uh, world that I created, turned everything up on a uh, 40 uh, for the chance, the spawn chance, and then pretty high deposits. Iron, I think I had like on 50 or something. It was outrageous. And I had so many iron, I was just sick of getting iron. And I had so many ores spawning that I never got coal. So I had to go out, cut down trees, and make charcoal just to get thing uh, resources to even make ingots. So it was very annoying. I don't recommend going in. But yeah, I mean, to me, it's it's awesome. And uh, anyway, that's that's the end of this video. Um, if you're interested in the blocks, I guess you can play it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, these are just they turn to polished. Uh, the granite you could turn to polished granite. Uh, I really hope they turn they use um make granite slabs to me that would be cool you can you can make an awesome kitchen with some granite uh, slabs have some granite countertops going on uh, those don't look too bad there uh, the granite looks great just like I said I wish they had granite slabs uh, yeah, they really look awesome as a slab on a counter as a countertop and then these actually look Pretty decent too. But 
Anyway, yeah, like I said, this is the end of this part. Uh, this was part two in a part two part series on snapshots for Minecraft. Uh, if you didn't see the first episode in order to learn how to make uh, your snapshot world and get started, check out uh, part one. And I'll see you next time. Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you waiting for? Go, go, go.